Hey, welcome back to the episode of Instant Ramen Podcast. I'm your host, Swan, and as always, my co is here with me. Hey, Trip. Hey. How you doing? Good. How are you? Good. How are you? You just asked me, my man. Good. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> today, we are going to be doing Kyle's Trash episode, but first... We're going to talk about SAC anime. Mm -hmm. uh, I got sick. I don't really have any news to report over this past week about how I've been, other than talking about SAC anime. Other shit happened. It was cool. But I want to know, did I miss out on anything in your life? Um, well, we did SAC anime together. Uh-huh. We did fun stuff there, so we'll talk about that in a bit. True. Uh, besides that, I don't think like I've done anything too crazy cool. Um, uh, I got drunk on Sunday. Was that yesterday? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Like a drunk yes. yesterday. <laughs> uh, it sounds like you're still a little bit. But, no. You know. um, th th so yesterday was a bunch of there's a bunch of playoff games for football. So I had a really good time with that. And mm -hmm. the Chargers beat the uh, the Ravens. So hey. I was super worried about that. So yeah, did that. Super cool. Started watching um, just other shows that aren't like anime. So okay, okay. Don't, me really Whoa. shouldn't talk okay. about them. Oh, hey man, what are you watching? You don't have to talk about them. Just tell me what you're watching. Uh, I'm watching Jericho again. Ooh, okay, yeah, I know you love that. It makes okay. it feel good. Let's keep going. Um, season three of Master Chef Junior. Okay, nice. So we finished two and fuck that kid. Fuck, fuck that Samuel. Kid. Samuel right. lost. I was so fucking happy. Yeah, I got you. I was man. for I got sure drunk that night. Yeah, no, like. I know you for sure were snapping. <laughs> oh, me there's like, so no fuck this piece of fucking garbage. There's no way I wasn't drunk. Yeah, I snapped you when he lost. It was super no, I great. think <laughs> I think you probably weren't because we had to go to Sack Anime the next morning. But yeah, I don't remember then. Must have been hungover. It was like 3 a.m. that you snapped me, and then you're like, we're driving the sack anime. Oh, yeah, yeah. We'll talk about that <laughs> a bit, though. Um, No, I mean, I uh, haven't been really doing anything too crazy. Just taking it easy from school. Doing some stuff for Gordo. Just helping out the, yeah. the business, you know. Just being a big boy. Going yeah. to banks. Going to, going to like, the the fucking county clerk to talk to her. Okay. Like, hey, what up, bitch? And she goes, not much. Cool. And she gives me a stamp. I give her some money. All that's, right. that's all there is to it. Hey, I learned something today. You did learn. Uh, it might not have been today. It might have been yesterday. I'm probably lying about some stuff, but I'm going to tell you a fact right now. Okay. So, uh, caffeine has like a half life of around five or six hours or so. Okay. Right? So, when you have caffeine, if you have even more caffeine during that time, like let's say you want to have a shot of espresso, if you have two shots of espresso, that's the same thing as it's like even better than having just one shot because you get the power of twice as much espresso. And then after that dies off, you have the power of one espresso to hold you over. So it's like twice as long and twice as much at the beginning. Does this have anything to do with? I'm teaching you. You're just giving me knowledge. Yeah. I'm just I saying like... I learned something. Thank you. That was really sweet of you. I'll never use that, but thanks. I think you might. Won't ever do it, no. All right. I don't drink caffeine. No, I know, but you might have to, you know, worry about that in the future. And you do drink caffeine, you dumb whore. No, I don't. Name one soda that you drink that has caffeine. Coke. Yeah. Pepsi. That was too many. Diet Pepsi. <laughs> okay, so yeah. <laughs> I guess, I, okay, I do drink caffeine. I don't drink coffee or That's espresso. Fair. Okay. You don't need to, yeah. Yeah, that shit's trash. So if you drink two cans of Coke... That is twice as much caffeine, and it'll last, like, twice as long. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, good. I guess I did need that. So, now you know. Now I know. Now you know, kids. Make smart choices. Drink more caffeine. Don't right. do drugs. Drink yes. More, drink more caffeine. That is a drug. So is sugar. <sighs> they're not drugs. Yeah, they are. No, they're fine. Mm. Yeah, it's okay. Anyways, how about we? Uh, how about we just talk about Sack Anime because I got nothing in my life going on really besides watching a bunch of old shows. And uh, oh, we watched oh, we watched Escape Room. We did that. Mm -hmm. That was pretty okay. I give it a good time out of ten. Absolutely, we went and watched it, and uh, we, I mean, we didn't. I didn't expect it to be good. And the writing was bad. The characters were yeah, pretty bad. Absolutely, but the, they weren't like insufferable. It was like pretty appropriate for horror that, movie. I think you know, the so worst part know. of all of it was just really shitty dialogue. Just yeah. the dialogue was horrible. Oh yeah, no, it was People, pretty trash. They talked like you know, it just didn't feel real at all. It talked like mm, like a fourteen year old was writing the script. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Like like the ideas were there, but they were like, I've never talked to somebody before. Like, but hey, if I talk to somebody, can you read my fanfics? Like, yeah, sure. And it's like that's that got turned into a movie or whatever. Like, well, really cool ideas, terrible dialogue. Yeah, so. the traps were pretty fun. Mm -hmm. I think the, like the visual parts of it was pretty fun, and the story was also really shit. Yeah, the ending was pretty was really like they really hamfistedly like made it so there'd be a sequel, and I was like, cool, they're gonna be a sequel. 
if they make it, I don't know if they would if they actually make it, but I'll watch it just because like yeah. I'm down to see. Oh yeah, no, it was fun enough. More to traps, see yeah. I'm down. And but it was a, shit. I yeah, just want to make that clear. Yeah, we like, spent like ten or fifteen minutes afterward just ragging on how bad it was. Yeah, but I had a fun ass time watching it. There wasn't a single point where I was like, "Wow, I wasted my fucking money." I fell asleep in the beginning. Yeah. I was tired though. Been, that was on you. Yeah. No, we had a big boy day. Yeah. Honestly, before the movie, I was like, I fucking regret saying I'll go to this. Yeah. Holy shit. I wish yeah. I was asleep. <laughs> Cause then we went, to, we went to like a late showing too. It wasn't like, Hey, let's go to the movie right as we get there. It's like, no, we'll go at 10 20 at night. Yeah. Yeah. That was a, Oh man, that was a super long day. It was like the longest day in history. Since we have nothing really to talk about, just do, just talk about sack anime. Let's review it. All right. I love sack anime. Uh, as of two days ago. Uh, so sack anime, was a lot of fun this year. We mm-hmm. went last year and we were like, you know, it was all right. And Steven Universe panel, it was kind of cool, I guess. You know, it was chill. Really small area for this and that. But it was, you know, it was neat. A little. Well, this time I had a very different experience. We didn't go to a single panel, mostly because all the panels at SAC Anime were voice actors for the English voices Ooh. of characters that I watched the shows in Japanese. Yeah, so I have sure. like no relation to anything you don't really care for them it doesn't make sense like like hey i do this show in english and great like uh, i'm glad you do but i don't listen to an english show it doesn't affect me yeah and, and then the other half of the shows it's like anime a lot of them are like you know it's the it's a show that we like it's like hey it's the my hero academia show but it's like held on by like a fan you know so it's mm-hmm. like a fan forum yeah these people go up, going up there and i'm assuming just talking having a discussion about how much they like the show which is great um but i don't want to be involved in that because no i don't care That'd be the big dumb. Yeah, so we just decided to dedicate our time at Sack Anime this year to just looking at cool shit and seeing if we want anything to buy. And there was a lot of cool shit. And yeah. there was some stuff that we for sure bought, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I came away with a art book, which is something I really like to collect for a show. A show. I think it's a, a movie. movie. It's a movie. Yeah. It's called uh, Motherfuckers, which has came, it did come out last year. Yeah, it's MFKZ. Yeah, it came out last year in Japan and in France. Um I think that it also, it's it's aired in theaters in certain places, yeah. too. It hasn't come here yet. I haven't seen it come out here yet. Well, not in our town, yeah. yeah. And I know that there's, a, you know, there's, there's it's in French, too. So, it's in French. Mm-hmm. There's a French cast. Well, and I think it was it was written by a French guy and animated by a Japanese guy for sure. or you, vice versa. No, it's, it's animated by, by uh, Studio uh, 4 degrees Celsius or something like that. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But um, the it is written by a French guy. Um, there is an English dub. They have dubbed it over. And uh, the, only, the only person I know who's in it is Vince Staples, who's a rapper. I don't know if you've heard okay. of him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he's one of the characters. I'm like, cool. So, I mean, eventually, if they've dubbed it in English, it should premiere, you know? Oh, yeah. Somewhere around me. I mean, the closest it might come to us, if it doesn't come here, probably sack or something. Yeah. Which is something I'd be willing to go to because, like I said, I, 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 the trailer I loved, it reminded me a lot of Tick and Concrete. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, yeah. It has that vibe for sure. Yeah. And the artwork for, for it's really interesting. So I saw the book. It was 60 bucks. I was like, yeah, mm-hmm. I'm, I'd am i love to add this to my collection. The issue is, though, I kind of don't want to open it or read it until I've seen the movie because yeah. I don't want it, anything to be spoiled for me. Dude, that's big-ish. So I have this awesome thing I can't touch yet. Um, I haven't even taken it out of the wrapping yet. I was like, I'm just going to leave it in the wrapping. I'll get to it whenever I get to see this movie. And I don't want to watch it illegally. Um, I'll just we'll be patient and try to watch it somewhere. True. Yeah. So that's what I, I got that. And then I got um, a couple of gag gifts for friends of mine. Mm-hmm. One of my friends uh, got a, I have these and got one of those gaudy hats that have like the. Yeah, the bolted on letters. The bolted on letters and it says hentai, it's pink. Um, mm-hmm. So we got him one of those. And then the other homie, uh, Josh, who played, um, you know, Smash was with us for New Year's. Mm-hmm. I got him a uh, a mouse pad, but instead of like the boob mouse pads, mm-hmm. but instead of the boobs, it was like the girl pulling her legs behind, like back. So it was like her ass and some of her thighs. Mm-hmm. It's pretty fucking awesome. Yeah, it's it's gnarly. I want to tell you. Um, only cost twenty five bucks, and Josh loves it. <laughs> he does. Um, I I'm, I'm going to say right here on the air, Josh loves the gift, and he uses it every day. That's wonderful. Yeah, yeah. Kyle's doing the jerking off motion. Yeah, that's what he's doing. Um, I told him that if he wasn't going to use it, I'd like frame it for him, mm-hmm. and he could just put it on the wall. And he was like, "No, that's not going to fly." I was like, "Well, you, you better use it then." And I just can't wait for his girlfriend to like come home one day and be like, "What the fuck is this?" <laughs> and him to be like, "Well, you see, my wrist gets kind of sore when I, when I <laughs> play all these video games or whatever." I don't know. I mean. I hope he uses it. If not, I, at least I hope he doesn't throw it away because I did spend money on it. <laughs> um, probably get th- you have to consider every single thing like that a complete loss. Yeah. I mean, it, it's the perfect gift. I don't know. Maybe he feels cu- guilty because all he got me was a really nice Yeti fucking cooler for my beers. Oh, yeah. No, that's a shitty gift, shitty actually. Gift. Yeah. It's so thoughtless. Yeah. 
Um, so I got him that. I also bought, we bought big cups of soda. Uh-huh. Uh, so I got a big old copper cup uh, yeah. mug that cost me like 30 bucks. Sierra bought that for me, actually. They're cool as fuck, man. Um, I also bought another friend a poster of House from the mm-hmm. show House. Yep. So, but it's animate out. Oh, it's so cool. I was walking by the posters and like there's all these cool posters. And then I see this one guy looks a lot like Mr. House. And I'm like, hmm, I wonder if that's him. And then I saw like, you can barely see his cane. And then there's like a flame on the cane. I was like, that has to be House. So I'm like, I got to ask. I go to the guy like, hey, man, that one right there, is that house? He looks at it and he goes, fuck yeah, that's house. I was like, nice. Buying it. So it's another present. He hasn't seen it yet. It's for Hot Shot. So whenever mm-hmm. he gets back in town, I'm going to give it to him. Hopefully. Nice. I mean, that one he has to post, put up. Like, he, he oh, loves, yeah, no, he loves it's house. like a real ass gift. It's a good gift. Um, it's a thoughtful gift, I feel yeah. like. Uh, but yeah, man, that's that's what I, what I bought, honestly, at Anime Expo. I was going to buy... This Dragon Ball Z figure, mm-hmm. it was like Vegeta and Trunks, and they were, you know, just doing like cool poses, and they were doing, giving off a blast, and they had some really gnarly like vaporwave kind of neon-y colors. Yeah, it looked like very broly. Yeah, very, yeah, exactly, very broly-ish. Um, and then I was like, cool, I'll come back to it. By the time I came back to it, it was gone, and I was like, damn, this is not, the expo is not big enough, kind of like AX, where you can mm-hmm. like leave and you'll find the same thing we found similar things but I, there was only that one you know? yeah that was the only one that we did find um so we learned a little bit more about how to treat different expos mm-hmm. uh smaller expos rather so it's more like a, if it, if you see it you should probably fucking yeah, buy it fucking cop it there was it. even a point where um one of the things that sierra and i bought we both bought the same len figure from uh sword art online gun Gale online alternative or whatever the fuck it's called yeah, gun Gale online alternative. yeah um so we both bought the len figure and when we were standing in line for getting our soda cup thingies uh some dude just came by and was sierra didn't have a, a bag or anything for her figure so she's just holding it and some guy came by and asked where she got that. And she was like, oh, it was like way up there. And it cost like 40 bucks. And we got some of the last two. So you should probably go there quick if you want to get it. Yeah. He was like, she was like, there was only three and we bought two of them. Yeah. So, <laughs> and, and this was hours ago. Yeah. It was, it was difficult to find good shit. Um, but there was some good shit to find for sure. Yeah. Just that, because it sells out so quick. Yeah. That Len figure was super dope. I'm glad you guys bought it. Um besides I mean, don't, I mean i'm like i said i'm not the hugest dragon ball z fan i for sure watched it when i was younger but it looked really cool it did I think it the colors were really cool. gnarly and i hadn't seen a figure like that i saw a lot of new these new figures that had like these weird like cell shading kind of things to them like they're like the shadows were painted onto them mm-hmm. and i was kind of vibing with them and then i saw more of them and it's just like you know what i don't i don't really fucking dig them you know not for you no yeah. not for me they should had one with like naruto and we we discussed this at length that like naruto has like no fucking good figures yeah the show's been out forever unfortunately not they just don't know how to make a good fucking figure in naruto I mean, apparently I, I don't know if you knew this or not um the the artist uh the original mangaka for my hair academia He's a huge fucking figure fan. He goddamn loves figures, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, especially Western figures and stuff. So he has a Spider-Man mountain, I guess. Whatever. So he loves that shit. And there's like three My Hero Academia figures. There's, well, uh, now technically, I guess like four. There's you know, there's the Deku one, the Bakugo go one you have, right? And they have a, a, like a different variant of the Deku one you have. Uh huh. They have him holding his, his mask. mask, yeah. Which blew him. Like I was looking at it when it was there. I was like, like this is the exact same figure Trip has, except he's holding his mask. Like who? Like, instead of like making a whole new figure, there's like you know what? We'll redesign it. We'll vamp it up and we'll give him his mask in his hands. Which Deku never fucking wears anyways. No, makes no fucking you know point to have. Makes it. no difference to me. I honestly like. I, I saw it and was like. I mean, that would have been cool if I had it, but that's no extra desire for me to get it. For sure. I know I know that there is, like, um, some other, like, there's a Todoroki figure out there. Mm-hmm. There's a couple more Bakugo and Deku figures where, like, they're more action-y. Really? But, uh, yeah. Um, they haven't, like, dropped yet. Oh, like, okay. Yeah. I was yeah. just going to say, like, I didn't know that those yeah, were out. All of them are pre-sale. I mean, pre-order yeah. or whatever. So, like, I know they're making them, but I don't understand why they're not making, like, just an All Might or yeah. Eraser Head or, like... They can make just... Because... They're pretty basic. The one that they have for Todoroki, basic mm-hmm. as fuck. They can make a basic ass Jiro. They can make a cool one where she has like a giant ass speaker that she's blasting. Yeah. They could have a lot of cool variants to it. They choose not to. Yeah. They're just not doing it. It's no, weird. We saw some pretty cool cosplays of like the, uh, the My Hero, like D and D medieval times. You know? Yeah, we did. I was like, you know what? Those would make fucking awesome figures. They would. And Everyone people agrees. Would fucking buy the shit of them for whatever the price How is. How much would you pay? Uh, is it as big as these? 
Yeah, as big as these Bakugo. Um, I'd pay like over a hundred bucks for it for a Dragon Rider. Nice. Yeah, I'd pay like almost two hundred dollars. I feel like That's if it was awesome. larger, I would pay way more. Yeah, okay. I would for sure buy an Uraraka one, which like in a heartbeat. Which what is she in the thing? I think she's like a sorcerer oh, or some shit, cool. right? If, if they had a uh, fucking Tokoyami with like you know he has the like the the armor of mm-hmm. like the the shadow on him, yeah, I would pay anything for that. Yeah, scratch that. I'll pay anything for a gope to figure doing the shadow kick. Anything for that. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, one day you're gonna get it. <laughs> fucking a. I know. There's just like it's crazy to think that like we watch these shows and we're like that would make a great figure and they don't do it they're like nah fuck it you know what they want a pachinko machine get these fuckers a pachinko machine and yeah. they fuck it it's bullshit Anyways. hire us Funko Pop no we'll have our, no we'll have our own line yeah it's gonna be different it's, it's gonna, still gonna be owned by the Funko Pop yeah we're gonna be under the Funko umbrella but it's not gonna be Funko Pop it's gonna be Funko Blast Funko Blast it's like then the Blast you tell me you wouldn't get a Funko Blast figure only if they squirt stuff at you Okay, well, yeah, they all have squirting functions, duh. That's, like, the biggest appeal. Well, yeah, then I'm down. Yeah. Okay. You've heard it here first. <laughs> Instagram podcast is now teamed up with Funko Pop. <laughs> Funko Blast coming to you 2020. Yeah. It's going to take a year to figure things out, so. That'd be fucking awesome if they were just like, hey, so we uh, heard your idea about your squirting figures. <laughs> and we're suing you. We're suing you hard. That was our idea. We already patented this. <laughs> I don't know how you found out about it, but we're going to fucking kill your family. Um, okay, so we also saw some pretty cool art, right? Name one cool piece of art. I mean, I didn't buy any cool arts besides <sighs> House MD. Okay. But there's a guy who does this, he does these like these really big posters and like they're of like it's mostly mainstream shows just because they have like mm-hmm. more characters essentially and yeah. he does like really characterized versions of like tiny ones but then like you zoom out and there's like everything every character ever and every year I see them and every year I don't fucking buy them and it kills me but I already have too many posters I don't have any more rooms on my wall yeah no that's a little bit tough uh, my one of my issues with the, like the things that I wish that I had is I don't wish I had them in my room, but I want them. And I talked to Kyle about this too. There are a lot of posters that have like shiny accents to it. Like whether it's entirely just like glossy metal kind of like looking, or if it's got a few pieces of something metallic that makes it like pop and shine, Mm -hmm. whether it's gold or silver or whatever it is, it always looks so cool. They could do like really cool sparkle effects um, some awesome looking like rainbow color palettes and they look so fucking cool in the shiny way, but I wouldn't want it in my room. That would yeah. annoy the fuck out of me. Maybe too extra. But every time I see them, I want one so bad. I'm just like staring at it, ogling it. I'm like, if I keep looking at it, I'll buy it and I don't want it. Cause you'll buy it and then be like, I'm never hanging this up. Yeah. Cause I'm like, what do I do with this? I just put it much. in my fucking closet. <laughs> Yeah. Well, um, so w- besides the Lem figure, did you get anything else? Yeah, man. So uh found one of the best deals that I've ever found. I don't know if it actually is a good deal or not. I don't know if you could get it for more or less uh, at most other places. But I found a couple of Kingdom Hearts figure sets. Um, 20 bucks. Fucking blew my mind. There was one with Aqua and Goofy. And I was like, eh, I'm not a big Aqua fan. Goofy's fine. Whatever. But then I found uh, Pete from kingdom hearts 2 and i was fucking blown away that they would have that figure uh, and it comes with a little heartless uh it's one of the like heartless knights which i also love those figures and it comes with chippendale and pete's fucking huge oh, too he's big, yeah. he's a big old honker uh i was pretty stoked about that and then i got a few blind boxes because that's the kind of person i am i like that shit so i went for uh monster hunter again and i got a Valhazak, which is a big old rotting corpse dragon hmm. which i was super fucking excited about and then i also got a kuliaku which is this fucking chicken essentially yeah, okay. it carries around a rock or an egg and i thought this was pretty cool uh it's the only variant that i've seen of the monster hunter figures that comes with something you could swap out so oh, cool. it comes with a rock and an egg so you could just put one off to the side and have it hold the other one i thought that was really neat that they give you the option of that yeah it's uh that is nice so have you have you ever gotten doubles for these monster figures yeah and i gave them to kyle i used to give them to kyle. okay yeah like, so how many did you buy? Just two? Yeah, I just bought two of those. And there are two OGs. You like one? Yeah. Had, that's great. I haven't that's gotten super those. Good I was luck, super man. excited about it. Um, well, one of them, I already knew that I had one of the figures and it was heavy as fuck. So I was like, it, yeah. yeah, well, when I first got it. So I'm like, okay, well, I know this is going to be heavy as fuck. So if it's not heavy as fuck, I definitely don't have it. Yeah. So I got 
a new one because did you see, that was the only one I had from that set, I think. Did you say you only spent 20 bucks on that Pete figure? Yeah. That's fucking... And with the others. Yeah, that's so crazy. Like, yeah. I, when I saw it, I was like, this is really cool. Good for you. And then you told me you spent $20 on it. I lost my fucking mind. Like, yeah. there's no way this is 20 <laughs> I bucks. I know, right? Well, you probably cool. go like the... Well, not Toys R Us, but target or some shit and if you found that kingdom hearts figure it'd probably be like 1899 or whatever but after tax it probably be over yeah, 20 dollars. maybe i don't know yeah, but man. i felt fucking good about that find that's super cool. um and then normally the places like they will add a tax onto it like eh, with tax three dollars more mm-hmm. but with this it was just like 20 bucks give me 20 go <laughs> like, fucking k yeah. i wonder if that guy even worked there he was just like just like sedaning there like, like hey okay. man you need any help and i'm like Sure. I want this one. Twenty bucks. Okay. Something something about second anime though, I do feel like um it's way more relaxed when it comes mm-hmm. to like um people like uh who are running it. Like yeah. you know, like there's people at the door who kinda help you and they look at your wristbands. Um but kind of, kind of like, kind of like I felt like, you know, we so well the way it works, we go to the Marriott next door because we uh-huh. we missed um what's it called? Applying for tickets, what do they yeah. call it? They call it something else. Pre-reg, pre- yeah, registering, mm-hmm. re- registration, or whatever. So we had to buy it there, which is fine. Forty-five bucks, not too much, not too expensive. Yeah, for a day, it was fifty-five. I think for the whole weekend. Yeah. So we just did the day because you know yeah. we're only there for a day. Yeah. Well, plus you guys were sick, so like we weren't going to be yeah, like no, we're was, going all three days. <laughs> well, we missed day zero and one mm-hmm. because of the sickness so we got day two which i think is a very good day very to good go day, on yeah. so when then we went to like the, the convention centers right next door the marriott and they did look at every the first time right? uh-huh. but the second time it came through the door like no one asked me anything no one said hey they look like this it, i feel like i could have just like walked off the street walked in and no one would have said shit to me yeah um which i feel like it doesn't fucking doesn't affect me. I don't care, right? But like, I guess if you're like if you're running it, that's not that's kind of a poor way to run business. You know, you should yeah be more on top of that. Make sure the people who are there are paying to be there. Um, I'm sure some people slipped in. What else happened? Um, I mean, they were doing a raffle that it, that I feel like felt really really odd. You know, they're just mm-hmm. they were like over the loudspeaker, which I didn't know the convention center had loudspeaker. Yeah, man. But uh, I, I felt really just. Well, felt, how do you think they announced that they're closing? I just think like they just flicker the lights off a few times, like <laughs> they're like, all right, guys, it's time to get out of here. All right, we're we're rounding it up for the night, so mm. buy your final figures. You know, something that's cool about the you know the exhibit hall at least is because it's so small, we can you do it within a day. Like you don't have, oh yeah, like, easy. You, unless you want to like go to things every day. You want to like, really fucking scour it and be like, do they have anything different? I don't know. And they don't. I don't think they do. You know, yeah, I think no. I think it's like a lot of people just bring their stuff and they sell it out. Um, it's cause like, you know, we got there, what day, so it's day two, day two, um, we got there like it, the day had already started for sack anime. Yeah. So I feel like, you know, them be having three line figures, they probably only had like six, you yeah, know, maybe. Yeah. And, and they were sold by day two. Like, yeah. like, I can't imagine them being like them having three figures on Monday and, and like the first day and them not having them all gone. So, um, you know, realistically they might have somebody that goes and like restocks has some it. backup. Yeah. Restock. I think that that would be a smart strategy, especially probably. if they're trying to hit up other conventions. They probably have like a huge backstock. We also brought along my friend, my friend Kyle. Yeah, um, not the Kyle that's going to do the Kyle's trash. Yeah, not trash Kyle. This but is other Kyle. This is lesser Kyle. There's there's this Kyle, and then there's uh-huh. lesser Kyle, and there's uh-huh. Hotshot. Yeah, I don't know why I've started to call him lesser Kyle. I think it's a mix of sad. Well, earlier today we were calling him other Kyle. Other Kyle, yeah. You know, out of respect. Fuck him, lesser Kyle. All right, lesser Kyle. <laughs> Sorry, Lester uh, Kyle. I know um, you listen to the show. I he love needed, you. He, need, he called me because he, he wanted enough to give him a ride from the mm-hmm. airport at 9 o'clock. And I was like, dude, fuck yeah, I can. Um, I am going to Sacramento, you know, surprisingly, at 9 o'clock. Mm-hmm. Um, but then you have to hang out with me at Anime Expo because I'm not just going to pick you up, drop you off, and go back. And he's yeah. just like, okay. So he came along for the ride. Um, he was like, I mean, he'd been to other expos before, uh, like other conventions, like, you know, he'd been to, I think wizard con or something like that. Yeah. And then he also went to, uh, he went to comic con. Yeah. Times. He's gone to comic con. So he, he kind of knew the layout things. He knew how this shit works. Um, he saw like the section for the manga, like, you know, we were going on the left. There's like, mm-hmm. the, there's like a, a little library for manga. Like, oh, <gasps> he was like, holy shit. And I was like, dude, cool your fucking tits. You should see the manga section at fucking anime expo uh anyone want to promise neverland promise neverland over there uh, we got the new batman manga in turn, that corner turn around turn around what are you looking at me for turn around somebody give me a fucking dr pepper <laughs> so yeah that's the <laughs> that big, guy that's the job of the hut that's in the center of fucking He's my fucking queen um so yeah so comparably uh anime expo is still more superior than oh, yeah. 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 Anime you, you don't have a slug lord 
Yes. <laughs> you, once you get a slug lord, come talk to me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hit me the fuck Hit me up, up with a slug lord. Okay. Um, because slug lord trumps them all. Uh, True. But, I mean, you know, these things are smaller. You, you, you go there to, I guess, get autographs from people who are mm-hmm. there who you're like, who you like. Because they do have a huge autographing section. Yeah. For actors and people like, you know. We do like TV and shit. Like there was a fucking yeah. Power Ranger there signing shit, uh, voice actors and crap. They had a lot of my hero actors, mm-hmm. which is fine. I don't really care to get their mm-hmm. autographs. Um, but Anime Expo does more like uh, industry stuff. You know, just a bunch of interesting panels. Uh, they got a huge theater for AMVs, so uh-huh. you, know, you know they're good. <sighs> so fucking good. Um, yeah. So it's just it's they're different. Like if you want like a, a, you want to be a part of the culture, you want to be able to buy something interesting, go to Sack Anime, have a mm-hmm. good time. Uh, but if you want to like be like be on the pulse of like what's brand new and maybe see some stuff that hasn't been dropped yet you have to go to ax i yeah. feel like or go to a, a like a, a bigger convention something more reputable than right. sack anime sack anime is still a lot of fun it was super affordable i didn't spend that much money and had a great time i was super tired at the end of the mm-hmm. day oh um, yeah i was way tuckered out hey before you rudely interrupted me uh, i also got two more figures fuck you well it was pretty fucking rude i was talking about figures and you were like by the way Kyle was rude I said, yeah, I got these four <sighs> figures. And you're like, what'd you get? Hold on. I've been judged. Kyle said yeah. it was rude. I yeah. will apologize. I am sorry. It's okay, fuck man. Fuckhead. No problem, fuckhead. So, yeah, it doesn't feel so good, does it? I didn't know you got two extra figures, actually. I started the story saying, like, oh, yeah, and I got four more. I got some, you know, I love oh, blind box. I, you know I can't count. Yeah, anyway. So, uh, I got two Kirby figures. I got one from... Uh, this like set of Kirby using his like super special abilities. So one of them, he is a like a little scientist boy and he's crawling up on top of an alchemy bottle and he's blowing up a bunch of goo from it. It's fucking neato bandito. The other one is a little terrarium. Actually. Uh, I think these are the coolest blind boxes I've ever seen. I want to get more, um, immediately i was just like oh fuck i want that one i want that one and i want that one and i want that one i'll be happy with any of them wow i can't believe i'm saying this and then i went ahead and uh, i got it and i got this little snow terrarium so there are a bunch of like ice crystals popping out of the ground and uh there's a little snowman and then there's an even littler snowman and there's a kirby sitting in there the even littler and snowman. you had to put it together and it was kind of hard too it was neat yeah i liked it how much uh, I don't know, 15 bucks or something like it's that. It's pretty cool, yeah. dude. Yeah, that's not bad. Um, Honestly, they're really fucking cool. Uh, of course, like 20 bucks for a big-ass Pete and Chippendale and a little Heartless, that's like the deal of the century. Yeah. But 15 bucks for this kick-ass tiny terrarium, and they, they're all in different shapes. So the snow one that I got is a sphere, and then you could get like a island bottle one. Just really fucking cool. I don't really? know. I'm, I'm way into it. I'm glad that you got something that you liked. Yeah, uh, I was. Figures. Yeah, I wish I would have got figures, but uh, there just wasn't any. I mean, no. I'm still waiting for those. Also, we saw one of the best designed shirts of all time. Uh, oh yeah, we so did. So over in the Ahegao section of the girls fucking drooling and coming. Yeah, uh, that one. And they normally sell like a bunch of sweaters and shit. This one had an Ahegao face above a fucking big old block of pizza, mm-hmm. and it was incredible. But it turns out it was terrible material. Yeah, no, me and Kyle went up to Ted Shakes. So I was like, because Kyle was like, oh, we should get that for Brian. And I was mm-hmm. like, look, man, standing from here, I can tell what it's made out of, but I'm going to go show you how bad this thing mm-hmm. is. It does look amazing I mean, because it's made on that material. The color's so great. But once you touch it, you're just like, fuck that. There's yeah, no, no way you can wear that and like not die. It's not flexible. Doesn't it doesn't fucking breathe. breathe. Uh, it washes terribly. Mm-hmm. It's just a bad time. It's super cool looking. Yeah. Um, not worth it, though. Some weird synthetic material. Yeah, yeah, for sure. just sucks. Uh, how much would you pay for a shirt like that? If it was like... Uh, no, no, no. Like that same material and stuff. You know, they're super... The, the reason... Um, because of the material and because of the color, they're super expensive. Like, mm-hmm. they're like way more than you think. Like, it's over like 50 bucks sometimes just yeah. for a shirt. And I wouldn't pay that because um, I know that, you know, that's yeah. how much it costs. If it was like, if say the bargain was even like $20, I still mm-hmm. wouldn't pay 20 bucks to wear something like that. 10 just, bucks. Mm, to wear it? No, maybe just to own it. To own it? Yeah. yeah I, just, would, just, I would pay 10 to own it. Just be like, here, I have this cool shirt. I'm never going to put it on because I know how miserable they are. Yeah. I would, um, I would probably pay 10 at most. If it was eight, I would definitely buy it. Oh, yeah. yeah. For sure. I feel like eight's kind of the point. Like nine, they're going to be like, and there's a tax on it. But eight, it's like if they're like, and there's a tax, I'm like, well, it's still under cool. 10 bucks. It's still under 10 bucks. Yeah. yeah. Um, but knowing what they're made out of, I know they're super expensive. No fucking shit. But. Honestly, one of the funniest things I've seen. The second I saw it, I was like, 
I love it. I it's want horrible. It. <laughs> <laughs> it's disgusting. I want it. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, but it was thirty bucks. Definitely not worth. Yeah, for sure, not worth it. Yeah. So, uh, anyways, back to what you were saying. Yeah. No, I was just trying to wrap up and be like, yeah. sack anime. It's a good time. It's it a, was a great you know, time this year to hang out with your bros and just look at a bunch of anime stuff. And you know, people, you know, for the most part, aren't super rude. You know, there's not people like pushing and shit. You know, there's you, a lot more room. You don't have to worry about the lines. You know, uh, like you do in, in anime expo. At anime mm-hmm. expo, at any moment, you just end up in the line. You're like, where the fuck? How did this happen? Right. Like, What's this line for? This line's to get out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? like, oh shit! I need to not be here right <laughs> yeah. now. Um, so how do I get out of the outline? So you know, if you're in Northern California or if you're close to Sacramento. And, you know, you ever think about it? Yeah, just I'd fucking do it. I'd say, why not it's try totally it totally worth hitting up. It was a even really fun a chill time. Yeah, even yeah. for like a day. Um, I would say two days might be overkill. So go on a day. If you do see some uh, some panels and whatnot that you like, exactly. go on that day. Yeah, because two days, like, what are you doing? Like, I can see the exhibit hall in three hours. Mm-hmm. You know, less if I'm really trying. Uh-huh. Four if I'm, like, taking it super slow. Yeah. So like, you don't even need spent, the whole day. We spent around three hours kind of taking our time going through it. And then we also took a big old break. Yeah, and then we took a break and came back in and we're like, all right, let's wrap it up. Let's just buy let's the get a couple more buy things. And go, yeah. yeah. Which is which is just the way we were doing it because we were waiting for big old five o'clock time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we had to meet up for a mad ROM sesh. With Kate. Yeah, we got some ramen at this uh, little place. It's called something ramen. It's called the ramen house. The ramen house. I didn't know this because I was like, I was too engrossed on how delicious this uh-huh. food was. I was, me and Kyle were telling the other guys about it, and yeah. I was like, "What was that place called?" And Kyle's like, "I don't fucking remember." And yeah. So then the next day, I got a text, and it was like, "It's called the ramen house." Like, what? It's called the ramen house. Cool. Eight out of ten. They fucking lost points. Weak ass whoa, name. Whoa, shit, dude. No, but it's probably the best ramen I've ever had in Sacramento. Really good. Better than any of the ramen at Chico for sure. Um, and you, it's a uh, it's called Ramen House Rujin. Yeah, Ramen House Rujin or whatever. Rujin. Better than ramen in L.A. Probably not. No, but it was really fucking good. So good. Um, just a super chill time overall. Like my whole experience with Sack Anime this year, incredible. It yeah, was like and you were sick. Better than twice as good as last year. Yeah. Let me just put it that way. I don't know if it's because they're doing stuff different. I don't know what had the influence on it, but it definitely felt like this experience was a more cohesive experience that I enjoyed. Did for Sack Anime last year was it just you, me, and? In Sierra, or did Leandra also go? Leandra, I believe Leandra went, and we met up with DJ. Yeah, that's right. Okay. I don't know. I'm just trying to just figure out what the formula was. Yeah, I think that was it. Um, also, important to know, we didn't do it because we don't have any room for any posters, but they were giving away some pretty cool posters at the front. They are double-sided, which is important. So, if you don't like Zelda, you can flip it over, and it's like a Mario poster or whatever. Or if you don't like Pokemon, you flip it over, and it's totally spies or whatever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, lots of different options for you there and it's just like free ass posters that they give away when you get there so they realistically also, you could like get that drop it off at your car because you haven't gone yeah. to the convention yet and then go back in they also gave you like a they gave us a free pass for sack comic con whatever mm-hmm. that is like hey it's, it was like a voucher to just come for free i was like cool i don't think i'll use it but for someone who's a local or something they might be like cool just another free weekend of having a good time so yeah super chill yeah. super neat and we had uh the soda soda's great yeah the soda was good best soda of the year yeah yeah anyways that was sack anime uh there's nothing much more we can say about it no it was a good time though. yeah for sure cool so, so hey, what's next news time uh so this week in the news there wasn't a whole lot of super pumping stuff and that's because we just started with all of the uh the new anime coming out but i still have a couple of things here big old bombshell to drop for you you know that little show called made in abyss heard of it yeah yeah well it's getting a sequel movie uh according to a pamphlet that came out on uh the release of the first compilation film so it's going to be called dawn of the deep soul that's good i like that good name yeah also i love the top comment on the the reddit thread about it slaps move movie poster you would not believe how much suffering this baby can fit. Just like, <laughs> oh yeah, it, it's going to be fucked up. Everyone yeah. says that it's just going to be even more fucked up because it's, it's not going. Yeah, it's not going to be a TV show with any kind of re- regulations for Japanese television. It's going to be a movie. You're gonna so go they have a lot out. more fucking rain over the tier festival we're going to well, get. Well, I, know, I mean, I told uh, Kyle about um, lesser Kyle about mm-hmm. um, you know Made in Abyss, and he's like, "Cool, read it." 
and he came back to me because he reads manga yeah, super he quick. Reads fucking so much. He came back the next day and he goes, "Dude, that show, that manga is fucked up." I was like, "Is it like worse than the show?" I was like, "The show ain't got nothing on this fucking manga." So I'm like scared of how much deeper they can go because this bitch had her arm broken off and uh-huh. she was bleeding out of every mm-hmm. hole. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, dude, what I the know what fuck? you're saying. And she's a child. <laughs> Man, the whole, I think it was last episode, maybe it was second to last, I don't know, the whole meaty backstory oh, fuck. fucked me up. It was awesome. Oh, she was bleeding out of every pore. Oh, my God. Yeah. That, that'd make a dope-ass figure. <laughs> Her bleeding out of every pore? <laughs> no, um, meaty, and then, um, I don't even know, like, it's been so long since I've seen the yeah. fucking show, whatever the, bro, the, whatever the boy dude is, just like annihilating her with his fucking ray. Dude, that would be a, the darkest figure. Fucking Holy shit. mega busting him or whatever. Also, big spoilers for Maiden Abyss, but you yeah, know Maiden what? The, yeah, okay, so they all die at the end, get fucking over it. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Most of them are probably going to, they're probably all going to die. It's going to be fucked Just watch the show so you can watch this dope-ass movie when it drops. Man, it's going to be so fucking good. Uh, So, yeah, that shit's going to happen. The composer also said, like, get ready because I'm not holding back. This is getting dark as fuck. Like, he rolled up his his sleeves. Like, he's he's ready to go. Yeah, because people loved the soundtrack. It was, like, a huge hit. It was a big deal when the record came out. Lots of stuff was really just hyped up all throughout it. And uh, the fact that he's even like, I'm not holding back for this shit. We're getting fucked up. Yeah. 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 Pretty dope. Speaking of pretty dope fucked up shit, uh, the promised Neverland is going to have 12 episodes. So it's not going too far. Uh, I don't think it's going to go beyond its first arc, Mm -hmm. according to what a lot of people are saying. Um, But as long as it gets good success, there's always the chance of more seasons. Oh, yeah. You don't know if this is going to be the next, like, My Hero, but, like, a little bit darker. Or if it's going to be one of those things that's really successful. But then they're like, yeah, but one season's good enough, right? Um, I would bet unless something, like, horrible happens. Like, you know, like, they lose funding or something like that. You mm-hmm. know, stuff, stuff that never happens. Yeah. Um, I, This show, is like, is so hyped up. There has to be at least two seasons or whatever. Yeah, I fucking hope so. That would be really cool. Because yeah. I am... I, I haven't read much of the manga, but I'm really liking it. It's yeah. super neat. Unless they give it a break to give there a chance to be there to be more manga. Cause I don't know how long it's been out, but I know it's been out for a bit and there's mm-hmm. for sure some material. Yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah, but this is exciting. 12 episodes. I'm happy with that. At least they are not like going to be like, we don't know how many it's going to be there. Yeah. You know, they're honest about it. They're coming out and telling us it's pretty dope. Uh, next piece of news I have is something that I don't think anybody's going to care about, but holy fuck, I didn't know about this shit. And then I got kind of disappointed. So, uh, Klonoa is an old PlayStation one game. PlayStation two had one of my favorite platformers from that generation. Uh, Klonoa two, who the fucking okay. thought? Yeah, yep. yeah. Uh, and apparently it was going to get a film adaptation. It got canceled. So <laughs> I learned that it existed and then, and then it, it stopped. stopped. Existing. Yeah. So I was pretty bummed about that, but I thought it was really neat that they were taking this weird old ass character that was essentially made to look like a late nineties, early two thousands video game icon character that mm-hmm. just wasn't successful. Uh, and they wanted to turn that into an anime fucking weird. But You're right. Awesome. No one will care about that. Yeah. So, uh, Childhood me would have been so fucking bummed. <laughs> Adult, Adult me is like only kind of bummed. Yeah. Like I, I've been bummed by worse. You yeah. Know? Finally, uh, Naruto Shinden, uh, the legend of Naruto. That novel is going to get a TV anime adaptation and it's going to air for three weeks starting February 10th. Okay, cool. I know what I'm doing February so 10th. So march your fucking challenders. <laughs> for sure. Cool. That's good. Yeah, that's some pretty solid news. Yeah. Okay, cool. That's, um, well, that's it, guys. That's all we have. No, not. Not. Big not. Uh, so, our actual topic for the week will not be with Juan Uriarte, but it will be with Kyle Muriarte. Yeah, my twin yeah. evil brother. My evil twin sister. Nice. Yeah, that's the, that's the one. Yeah. Okay, so, so, anyways, thank you so much for joining us this week, Juan. Thank you. I'll uh, pop out. I'm going to leave. I'm leaving. As Keep, always. Calm the fuck down. I'm leaving. Godspeed. Okay. Good luck. Good I love luck. you. Good luck working with this piece of shit. Uh, make Kyle. good choices. Here you go. Enjoy who you have been your whole life, who you're going to be. I'm out, I'm out of the door. Uh, you can stop talking to me. I, I don't want to stop talking yeah, to you. I love I'm you. Not. I miss you so much. All right. Well, welcome back to another classic episode of Kyle and Chris fucking each other in the mouth. 
Thank God he's gone. <laughs> I know, right? Uh, so anyways, this week, Kyle's going to tell us about a little fucking show that I didn't do any fucking research on on purpose. But let me just pull up the studio here because I should have done like a tiny bit of research on purpose. But I really wanted to like avoid learning anything. He's going to tell us about my sister, my writer. It's almost like I have a show type, doesn't it? Yeah, so... Uh, this week on Kyle's anime trash series, uh, what do we call it? Is it just Kyle's? I've been changing the name different. It's it's been oh, different every time. Today okay. it's a, a the Bells of Hell uh, anime party. All right, from uh, from my sister, my writer studio, Naz, who's made a bunch of things that I don't think anybody's ever heard of, except for my first girlfriend is a gal, and oh, you guys loved that. And that uh, Mongolian ass show. I don't remember what it was called. It, you, do you remember the Mongolian one where it had like weird rain the, effects and the stuff? The filter that you hated? Yeah, the yep. fucking filter. Yep. Uh, Angolmoy's Record of Mongol Invasion. Classic. Yeah, those. Those and, all Angolmoy's. <laughs> and it's also made by Magia Doraglier. And that is the sole studio. Like, this is the one work from that studio that has ever existed. Well, suffice it to say, they're going to be making a lot more gems after this one. Okay, so we we talked about the show a while ago in the news because it lost all of... Like, it didn't lose its funding, per se, but they stopped paying their writers. Don't know where all that money went. Writers or animators? Thank you. Animators. I'm thinking about what the show is and it's about writers. Uh, so, yeah, they stopped paying their animators, and that was really intriguing. And it was so early in the season that we found this out. And by that, I mean it was like maybe halfway through the season. Kyle normally doesn't start watching all of his trash until the end of the season. I'm a procrastinator. It's it's easy to power through a whole bunch of shit, then watch it. And then cry. Weekly. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, he was able to switch from whatever the two fucking shows that were mediocre, uh, whatever those were. He switched over to my sister my writer and kyle do you think it was worth it um well to put it in a perspective i was gonna watch bakumatsu the uh, uh gay sword boys travel through time with strange symbols in their hair yeah you know one of those 12 characters introduced in one episode kind of thing yeah um and then you told me, he's like, oh my gosh, this show, they stopped paying the animators. You should watch this one instead. And um, I was like, okay. Yeah. I think I think by the end of it, Bakumatsu would have been a worse show. You think so? Yeah. Because, I mean, with the animation stuff of My Sister, My Writer, I wouldn't say it was wild enough that okay. it was made like that much worse. But there's some pretty wild stuff. All right. Well, now's uh, your time to tell us. So it's a it's a Kyle classic anime. Mm-hmm. Uh, we got uh, a pur- purple hair boy. Okay. Uh, he likes to write uh, dirty novels. Nice, because that's what you do. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. he's shit at it. Nice. He's real bad. And his sister, who's like I don't know, two years old. What does it matter? <laughs> yeah. It's anime. Okay, yeah. Uh, she writes one for him and submits oh, it in shit. his name. And everyone's like, oh, my God, it's the best t- story of all time about a, a little sister who loves her brother so much she can't stand it. So we've switched the whole thing on its head. Instead Holy of the, fuck. Instead of Mr. Boy being a creepo, his little sister's being the creepo. Fucking sound the alarms, because this sounds amazing. <sighs> and it plays out exactly how you'd expect for some reason a bunch of bobbles are looking at the big boy and then they're like "Ooh, we want to slam and he's like i don't really i'm not really and then the sister's like yeah i want to fuck you but i don't want to fuck you because that's fucking gay some basic ass dude somehow just a cruise a, a, a gaggle of women yeah a bunch of bobbles yeah a bunch of baps and i think it's a episode two or three maybe four where the animation starts getting a little bit wacky where they just start like coughing every time that they're like animating and they're like ah what happened well we got to keep it it's i can't even explain all of the things that happened they'll 
when their heads move positions on screen, their eyes don't adjust size for it. Uh-huh. So, like, the eyes will just stay the exact same size as their head moves back and forth. So, the perspective is all super fucky. Uh-huh. So, they're, it looks like their eyes are growing and shrinking or whatever. Yeah, their mouths are all over the fucking place. Like, yeah. up in their cheekbones and, like... Hell, yeah. Right, like, where their nose is. And, like, and the nose is still there. It's just, like, all over the place. and like, Just, like, the tracking and whatnot just was... Yeah, not they existent. Just, they just cut out like five frames and in, in scenes. So like, someone's swinging their arm and it's just jumps just to a different position. My favorite part though that um, yeah, Sierra can attest to this one because she was, was there a, for a few minutes. There was a solid meme of this too. I think um, for some reason, it's, to get the full body image of a woman, you have to turn the screen sideways. Yeah, man. Well, it's like it's with your phone, you know. You have your phone and you're just sitting in it all regular style. Mm-hmm. And it's like, mm, there's a full body shot. You turn yeah. it halfway and you're like, well, that's just the Crumbus and the Grumbus. I don't want both of those. So they're just like one specific part where the, his, the, a bevy of women are like, we got to figure out what the writing boy finds the sexiest. Uh-huh. So I'm going to dress up like a bunny rabbit. You dress up like a nurse. You dress up like a school. You dress up like swimming. You dress up like a wizard. You dress up like fucking Dr. Doom. Okay. Um, yeah. And, but to do like the, like the foot to head sexy shot, like mm-hmm. the upward pan. Yeah. Instead, the whole thing is just sideways. Fuck yeah. So, like, their legs are at the left side of the screen and their head is on the right and it, like, pans left to right. So, you have to turn your head and be like, what am I? They do it, like, seven times in one episode. It's so weird. But, yeah, I saw I saw a pretty funny video that I sent to you of some guy watching my sister, my writer, with a rotating monitor. And just, like, slamming it left and right really quick and, like, doing big old rotates so you can make sure he could get it at all the right angles. What was was it 20 times that I told you that there was Oni Chan in one conversation? Oh my god, I think so. I think it was actually exactly. There's a conversation where there's a voice actress who wants to be the voice actress for the anime that's going to be made out of his book. Uh, she's five years older than the main character, but she wants to be his little sister because she likes his work so much. Goddamn, I've been there, dude. And so she decides she's going to come live with him and his sister and be the better little sister. I need to start doing these podcasts just holding a gun <laughs> so I can, <laughs> so I can aim, it, oh aim my it at myself just in case. <laughs> um, and they're just like, sh- there's one like 10, 15 second scene where uh-huh. they're yelling at each other and they say Oni Chan 20 times in one conversation. Hot Doni Chan. I, I, re-ra- I rerounded and I counted it because it was uh, about halfway through. I'm like, the, every other word, the, every other word is that. It's weird because whenever I talk to my friends, I don't say their names every other word. It's really hard for me to do that. Wait, that'd be like that would be like in one short conversation or sentence. Yeah. I would say like talking to you. I would say so, Chris. Like my friend, out. Chris. Yeah. My friend, my friend, Chris. You're uh-huh. my friend, Chris. So today, yeah. you know, my friend. Twenty times. So fucking. Awesome. Or I guess a cool if I, or if I guess, story. I guess if I just in a conversation, if I said my sister twenty times, like on a conversation about going to Disneyland. Yeah. So then my sister, well, she did this, and you know my sister. My sister always does this thing, which my sister did, and she also has a name, so that helps break it up as well. Right. Um, and my sister, Oni Chan. Uh, Frank Letta, thank you. <laughs> Can't fucking. All right, if you see a Frank Letta out on the internet, chances are it's Big Crimbus over here, just slamming my beans everywhere. <laughs> Big Crimbus on the Drimbus. Oh, that's me. But the show plays out exactly as you thought it would, as you as you imagine it would. Mm, uh, yeah, everything falls into place. Uh, he gets his anime. Nice. Um, all the care he has. Six or seven women that are just there. Nice. Um, of all just varying types, you know, his the the you know what I'm gonna stop talking about that to talk about the most part, important part oh about my the God. show. I just wanted you to talk about the most important part of the show. Uh one of the characters, uh I be, I may be getting this in the wrong order. The fans of the show can correct me in the comments. Or send me a death threat. That's fine, too. Yeah. Uh, death threat, Kyle, um, for me. I think Thanks. your name is 
Double Peace Ahago Sensei is his the, uh, is, is the graphic artist for the book. Nice. So she draws all the boppers and the beepers. The big and beeps, the dogs. gotcha. But she's like, she only likes dark stuff. Mm-hmm. She's like, I can't draw like vanilla. It's got to be like bad and evil. And like, I love rape. Mm-hmm. She, she mentions this like 12 times during the show. Yeah. At one point, I I don't know if I texted it to you or just told you when oh, I was upset. Oh, you for sure texted me. And I was like, uh, Kyle, keep your fucking weird show to yourself. Do you remember okay? what was it? The thing I most enjoy, word for word, is the thing I most enjoy drawing is brutal rape scenes. I think that sounds right. And it was like, <laughs> yo. Thankfully, this was the one time I was watching the show while drinking. I was like, Argh. No, big no from me, Ahigao Sensei San. That's a big yikes for me, team. Like, <laughs> I keep, I keep kind of making the joke that Japan finds sexual assault hilarious, but it's not really a joke. <sighs> it's weird. That's why they have trains for women only. Well, I think that there. It's weird because there are these kind of not. I, I don't know what. It, I want to call it mainstream. I guess there are these weird mainstream shows that talk about fetishes and stuff like that like rapes fetish and whatnot which is super fucked up and super weird and clearly japan isn't as culturally uh aware of how we should handle these kinds of things yet um and i'm not saying that the united states is like a ton better i think that united states puts way too much sensitivity on these kinds of issues too Mm -hmm. there needs to be like a weird ground found where they're like hey that's some weird fucked up shit but like to each their own as long as it's not real (laughs) haha high five bam you're all good you know it should be like that like 50 shades of gray for example that's essentially just like torture porn but like weird women style of bondage it's just fan fiction yeah well exactly that's what i'm saying like fan fiction shit like that is like essentially what this is but it's like a different extreme and a different direction which there are of course niche communities that are hopefully not fucking acting upon that and if they do they realize that it's all fake and they're just hanging out with their bros and doing a quick slam you know just a boys night just a boys night just having a big rape slam on each other and then (laughs) if it's if it's not supposed to happen anymore they say like big yellow hat and they're like whoa okay he said the big yellow hat word too real guys too real no the safe world the safe word is girls night Oh fuck! The only thing that, girls' the only morning. Thing. <laughs> yeah, there you go. The only thing that stops boys' night <laughs> is girls' morning. <laughs> it comes in. Um, yeah. So, anyways, I think that Japan has. Uh, they have to figure out how they want to talk about their fetishes because that kind of shit is goddamn shocking. And I feel like that needs a trigger warning. Like right before they're like trigger warning. We're going to say some weird fucking shit. And you need to be like ready for that. Cause when you're just sitting there watching it, drinking a brewski or a two skirt, then you're going to be like, Oh yo, nah, man. Nah. Yeah. Cause I'm just sitting there. Cause she's like, you're yeah, like drawing rape. I'm like, okay, that's the third time you said that. And it's still weird. And she's like, you're yeah, my favorite thing to do is brutal rape. And I'm just like, yeah, yeah, big, big, no, 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 no. <sighs> it's not hells to the yells, if you know what I'm saying. So, uh, fucking rape girl, what's her deal? So she's the, like, what, what, her personality or what she does? Cause she draws the, pictures. I know she draws it, but like, what's her overarching, like, what what happens? Does she draw a bunch of rape scenes in the book? Like, what happens with her whole thing? Or is he like, uh, fucking excuse yourself from my book, sir? Um. So the editor just like be like, this is your graphic artist. This is Diego Double P P Sensei, and it's Turbo Big Bop Ditsy Blonde Girl from Japan because you know the Ditsy Blonde Girl from Japan mm-hmm. and the glasses, you know, and, and she's just like super bubbly or whatever. It's like, yeah. And she's also the anime character that just has to sexual reference everything. She's like, ah, ha, ha, penises. Like that? Like, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. Nice. Like, you know, in the beach episode where they all want main character Chan to rub suntan lotion on their backs. I've oh, been there, man. And then he has to do it to his sister and the whole time. Drawn bitch is back there. She's like, he's coaxing her to sexual maturity. And he turns around and like, can you fucking not do that? Like, hey, man, she's that character. Big creepo. And then, so like her, her big moment is when 
there's a rival drawing girl who's like, you only draw fucked up shit and you're dumb for it. <gasps> and then that's when main character goes, you know what, it's okay. You can you can like what you like. Yeah. And then she's like, I know what we should do. You and your brother should dress up in BDSM gear and whip each other. And then they do that. For the book. It's for the, it's for the book. No, I know. Yeah, you know. I know it's for the book. Why wouldn't it be for the book? It wasn't for me, that's for sure. All right, so that's cool. what they, so that's the kind that's, of quality you're working that's with. That's kind of good shit. All right, mm-hmm. that's something like, mmm, big you baby. Know, they're all big spoils. Big spoils coming big up. Big spoils, McBoils. Only 10 episodes. Uh, big shock, I know. What happened? Uh, d- uh, nothing really <laughs> changes. He gets his anime. Hey, nice. And then good he's like, you know what, little sister? I love you. And she's like, oh, my God, I did it. And he's like, but not like that because you're my sister. And she's like, okay, well, I guess that's fine. You know what? Makes a lot of sense. Good call, big bro. Yeah. he. You know what? Is As much of one of those garbage shows it was, he didn't mm-hmm. he did a, he wasn't. He wasn't the worst big bro. He wasn't the worst big bro. All right. Nice. Nice. He, he, but he also didn't, you know, he didn't, he didn't bingle blast any of the people that were trying to get bingle blast. And I was like, come on, man. Yeah, well. Sometimes you got to bingle. Sometimes you got to blast. Sometimes you just in Japan gotta, you, you never lay bingle off. blast. You, know, you always have the option of not doing anything. That's what I've always said about everything I've ever done. But Bandersnatch has different fucking ideas for everyone. I could have been better. <laughs> oh, so <laughs> that was really loud. <laughs> Fucking spike the <laughs> spike that fucking meteorite into the earth. Meteor so smash gotta, my ears. You got any, uh, anything else you want to tell us about this fucking boring ass, dumb ass sex show? Don't watch it. Just even don't. if even it's not worth cause, seeing cause what it, all the fucking no animators being paid is about. No, it's not like as wild as you'd think it would be. It's just kind of annoying and dumb, and sometimes it's really like, what is going on? Huh. But, even I don't know if you still if you have any listeners that like these kinds of shows. Considering I berate them every time I'm on here, um, if you're gonna watch like the the harem, uh, oblivious dude sister, uh, whatever's, you got better ones. You got better ones. Name than this. one. All of them. Okay. Uh, uh, Yuna and the haunted hot springs. Okay, better but than I'm looking for something sister related. Um, sisters, all you need. Okay, I'm looking show. for something that's gooier than that, like um, kind of in the the facial region, yeah. lower facial yeah. region, but yeah. above the chin. Yes, sir. Below the nose. Yeah. Ooh, you are looking at a prime uh, arrow manga sensei for that okay. gooey lips action. You know, I think I have enough options out there, so we're doing good. I get you. I get you. So, where would you rank this amongst all the shows that you've seen so far? Because we've seen some... We need seen to start some, writing them down. Yeah, we've seen some sexy confused. boys, and we've seen some, like, sexy girls, and uh, we also saw some little trash munchkins. Um, so everything will always be better than... A Sister's All You Need. No. A that was one of the best need. ones. I know. <laughs> GD, GD, Men's Party. Mm-hmm. Everything's yeah. always better than that. Okay. Just wanted to make sure that this was better than that. And I think right above that was the, like, the three-minute Love to Lie angle Love thing. Love to Lie angle, yeah. Which is the uh, lesbian sex house. Mm-hmm. Lesbian sex house. Um, you think this one's above that? Yeah, this is above that. All right. Because then above that would go unit, and then above that would go... A sister's all you need. Mm-hmm. All right. At this point, we should just call this Kyle's porn corner. <laughs> Kyle's porner. That's true, yeah. Yeah. The etchy, sketchy, no touchy all the time. Etchy, sketchy, no corner. Kyle's... Kyle's... Echo sketcho, big stretcho. We'll come up with a good name. We'll, no, we'll bounce some ideas. Hey, no, it'll go be ahead and uh, shout outs to Kyle for trying to come up with a cool new name. But even bigger shout outs to whoever comes up with the coolest name. Please uh, just go ahead and comment, like, oh, yeah. and subscribe. Oh, yeah. S- smash that motherfucking comment button. Uh, for as much etchy, scratchy, no cummy. <laughs> or whatever the fuck you want to call it's the it. Worst one. Etchy scratchy no cummy. I'll just call it Kyle's wanna do when he comes. <laughs> uh for those of you that don't know, y'all wanna do when he comes this is one of my favorite things ever. And it's uh from the ninja sex party 
Twitter? Instagram, oh, Twitter. Instagram. I don't know. It's it's on Instagram whenever I see it. God damn it, it makes me laugh every time. <laughs> All right. Well, I don't have anything that I want to say because you told me everything and you kind of broke my hope that anime is still good. Oh, it's 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 the it's the worst it's ever been. Anime is the biggest mistake it's ever been. I kind of like how in a way the the Rascal Bunny Girl show is like the best version of all the shows that I end up having to watch. It is. So if you wanted to watch some fucking porn, slap that fucking mouse out of your hand and and go outside. Go outside. That's where you'll find the porn. Yeah, it's all around. Everything's fucking. Bugs be fucking. Birds be fucking. Air be fucking. Grass be fucking. Yeah. We fucking. All right. Well, thank you so much for listening to another episode of the Instagram podcast. Uh, big shout out goes out to uh, Aaron from TurvyTops.com. She is our amazing artist. She made our logo. It's fucking killer. So check out her other work. She does some amazing fan art. She does a lot of cool original pieces. She's got a lot of good OC out there. Uh, shout outs to Tom Nasser, who does our theme song. That's Nasser and ASR. You can find them on YouTube, SoundCloud, Facebook. Uh, you could also find them on Instagram, I think, too. Uh, he doesn't do too much music recently, but man, his music's fucking incredible. Uh, all different kinds of indie rock genre uh, good shit and then you could find us on Facebook L- just look up the Instagram podcast uh, same thing goes for Instagram look up the Instagram podcast if you want to tweet at us tweet at Instagram and pod and you could shoot us an email Instagram podcast at gmail.com uh, please tell us the name of Kyle's trash corner whatever the fuck you want to call it because it's honestly just a <sighs> It's a fucking time. And I want to know what kind of time you guys are expecting from the names that you you give us. If you have any suggestions, you can actually find me now. Oh, shit. You're findable? Yeah, on IMVU. Okay. Uh, You'll know where where I am. Oh, oh, shit. I I don't know where you (laughs) are. If you don't want to check there, check uh, Roblox. Yeah, you can definitely find him on Roblox. If not, IMVU. Yeah. uh, His name on Roblox is Daddy... Yep. Yeah. He is the first and only daddy. Yep. All right, guys. Thank you so much for listening once again. Uh, I have been your host, Chris. Earlier, it was also your host, Juan. But, you know, whatever fucking happened to him, times have changed. Uh, thank you for joining us, Kyle. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, Kyle, don't forget. Just add hot water. Fuck yeah. <laughs>